What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to have a quick review here of these Ironclad TAC Ops gloves. Now I've been using these for a couple years now and uh, I found that this is a really cool brand um, of glove that's relatively cheap at around $20 for a uh, pair of these. The only downfall is they come in black, but let's get to the specs. These are made of 55% synthetic leather and 27% stretch nylon, 10% terry cloth and 8% airprene. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is airprene? And uh, what it is, it's an advanced neoprene that basically is like a moisture wicking uh, type uh, neoprene. The terry cloth on here is right here on the thumb, so that when you have these on, you have a sweat, um, a sweat wipe area. So you can kind of wipe the sweat uh, off of your brow, if you, uh, so to speak. Now the palm here is a synthetic leather that is uh, coated with uh, DuPont uh, Teflon to uh, make sure that there is no kind of like oil and such that would uh, get, it's kind of like a non-stick uh, surface. It's not, I wouldn't say it's non-stick because it is grippy, but it doesn't allow oil and such to, uh, to get in there and cause you any problems in regards to grip. Now this is uh, moisture wicking and uh, it does keep your hands dry and it's very breathable. Uh, this is my go-to glove with the exception when I, I don't want to wear black. Um, it's very, very, in regards to um, dexterity, very easy to uh, maneuver things and such. The only thing I have, a, I have a little bit of a problem with is the thumb area and the way it's um, created here. I need to do a little bit of a better job there. It's not a huge deal at all, just the way it looks. It just doesn't look normal, but uh, neither here nor there. Um, this is a great glove. The only downside I see to it on, on a big downside is it's made in China. So if you don't mind buying something that's made in China, um, you're going to get a good glove because it is made by uh, Ironclad, which is a, a reputable uh, glove company, but it is going to be made in China. I do find that there's a lot of adjustability. Um, you can make it really tight, make it really loose. Um, on the underneath here, uh, it comes back a good ways so that you uh, have some protection back there. Um, the one thing I would say is there's not a super amount of padding, but there's not a ton of padding. Uh, there's not a little bit of padding either. There's a little bit of padding in regards to here and, uh, and here in the glove area, um, but there's nothing in regards to the knuckle area. Um, there's really nothing else anywhere else. So this is a very um, highly dexterous, <laughs> dexterity high glove uh, that you can purchase. The only color comes in in black, which is kind of a downfall. I really wish they would make uh, uh, maybe like a tan and uh, a green to kind of get their uh, options out there. I don't understand why they don't have that, uh, but that's something I really like to see them do, as well as making it in the USA. It's another thing I really like to see them do. But as far as it goes, uh, I put this through the ringer, used it for a while, and uh, haven't seen any problems with it. You're going to see a little bit of fraying due to that terry cloth being right there, a little bit of pilling, uh, but nothing major, and I uh, haven't seen any problems with this uh, so far. So it's a nice good pair of gloves you can get, the Ironclad TAC Ops. Um, if you're in the market for a uh, black glove, maybe they'll change the colors in the future, uh, we'll see. But if you have any questions on these, let me know. If you have a pair, go ahead and uh, put it in the description box there, and uh, until next time, later.